Hello, it's Muscle Gadgets here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use your Android TV box. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be using the T8 TV box. Now, while all our boxes have the same content, the home screen may look a little different. For example, on the MX2 or the MXQ, the launcher screen, which is this screen here, looks a little bit different to this, but it, it is similar. So, let's get on with it. So the first thing you want to do when you get your TV box is go into the settings and either enter your Wi-Fi code or connect it via the Ethernet. So once you've all that done, you'll see here that you'll be connected. And as you can see, we have some apps here pre-installed for you. So, for example, we have the Play Store. So if you want to download any more apps, you can just go into the Play Store and do that. We have your internet browser. So we want to browse the web, just click on this, and that will come there. We also have the MobDraw app, click on that. They show a lot of the sporting events, so just click on sports, for example, Sky Sports 1. There you go, as you can see, we start to play. We'll come over that. We also have HD Cinema. This is an app that shows a lot of movies and TV shows. So, for example, if you wanted to watch Paddington, just click on the movie you want to view. Click on the play button up here. And it'll give you an option if you want to play it in 720p or 360p. So, we're going to play it in the 720p. Just click on play. As you see, that'll begin to play there. I'm just going to come out of this. We also have Netflix, so if you have a Netflix account, you can sign in via that. We have Showbox, which is very similar to the HD Cinema app. We have a VPN pre-installed. I'm going to come back to this in a while. And we also have Kodi 14.2. So let's go into Kodi, which will probably be the main app you'll use on your Android TV box. Now, as you can see, in Kodi, we'll start from, from the beginning. We have a few sections in this. We have sports, family, movies, TV shows, live TV, UK Live TV, NBC Sports, and that's what we need a VPN for, Canadian TV. And under each one, we also have some subsections. For example, in sports, we have a lot of different sections here for, for the sports. I'll go into some in a while for you. In family, we have some Disney collections, top cartoons, Disney Junior, etc. Movies, you can browse via the latest movies, certificates are most popular. Same with TV shows, live TV. Uh, under the UK live TV, we have your BBC iPlayer and the ITV player. And, yep, yeah, that's it. So, if you wanted to view, let's go in for sports channels. Just click on sports. Give it a second to load, and as you can see, a lot of sports channels will load up there for you. There you go. So, for example, if you wanted to watch a race in UK, just click on that. There you go, race in UK starts. And come over that. And as I said, we have a lot more sections for sport under here. And each one of these little subsections do have sports channels in them, or live sporting events, or PPV events. Same with family. We can go in here if you wanted to watch family movies. Just click on that. We have a, a movie section here. So, for example, if you wanted to watch the latest movies, just click on latest movies. As you see, all the latest movies that are out loads up here. You 
go across to TV shows. Again, you have a choice whether you want to watch the latest episodes or genres or you want to search. So, I don't know, for example, if you want to search for a TV show, just click on search. A little menu pop up. So, if you wanted to watch Arrow, just type in the show you're looking for. Click on done. And as you see, Arrow comes up here. So just click into that. And each season comes up, so you season one, two, and three all in there. And we also have that function for the movie. So if we wanted to search for a movie, again, just go to the search function. Um, if you wanted to watch, oh, you know, Paddington. Just type it in like that and click on done. And there you go. Paddington comes up. So we just skip out of that. Next is your live TV. So to view live TV channels, just click in here, TV channels. As you see, they'll all load up here. It's mostly US TV channels, but there is some Irish and UK channels. For example, RT2. Just click on that. And the Lord's up here. Now to get it to full screen, just click on the channel again. There you go. You can see there's a lot of channels in that. Your Sky Sports News. There you go. There's a lot of that. That's your live TV. You have the UK live TV here. But this is basically for your free to view channels like your BBCs, ITVs, and so on. So we'll check BBC One. Guarantees you a place in there. You see that place? And you've all your UK free to view channels in here. And as I said, you have the iPlayer and the ITV player below it. Now, for customers that are in the Republic of Ireland, I'll have the UK live TV, but because the iPlayer and ITV player are geo-blocked, I will have the RT player below here for you. We have MC Sports, which I'll come back to shortly. We'll go into Canadian TV next. This is live TV from Canada. So, for example, if you want to watch CTV. There you go, that plays. And they also have the Canadian sports channels like TSN, which are in HD and TSN show a lot of the Premier League football. And I believe they're showing the Masters today, so we're just going to TSN 2. There you go. Now, so the last one we need to look at is the NBC Sports. Now, NBC Sports is a fantastic add-on as it shows every single Premier League football game. But to view it, you do need to turn on the VPN, which is on the home screen. So we're going to go back to the home screen, just to turn that on. We'll close out all these apps that I was in. So here's your VPN. And this is installed on all our boxes and it's really easy to use. You just click on it. As you see, it comes up disabled. So you want to click in the middle of the screen. It comes up here and mention do you trust your application? Just click on that and click OK. No, it's armed, so that means the VPN is ready to go. So we we'll just back out of that. We go back into Cody. We go across here then to NBC. There you go. So what you want to go into is the live and upcoming section. Now at the moment we have the Golf Channel, the Masters, PFT Live, but uh, on a Saturday or Sunday when the Premier League is on, you'll see all the games here in blue. So, as you can see, 
it tells you what's coming up as well. So match day touch to Liverpool versus Newcastle, Sunderland Palace, Southampton Hall, etc. So on the fourth, all these games will be in blue and you'll be able to view them. But for now, the only thing we can really view is the golf channel and the masters. So once your VPN is on, if you want to watch the golf channel, just click on it there. Well, it's not a commercial break at the moment, but as you can see, that's in perfect HD also. And that's what the Premier League football would be like once that's on. So I'm just click out of that. So there you go, folks. Um, that's basically how to use your Smart TV box. Uh, as I said, if you have any questions, just drop us a comment. Uh, please like, share and subscribe also. And if you want to purchase any of our devices, just go to MonsterGadgets.com. And don't forget, you can use code FOLLOW5, which will give you £5 off any device. Okay, thanks guys. Bye now.